Right, in this part, we're going to continue building our user interface. So let's continue where we left off. So we had so far one tab item. Let's go ahead and add another one for veggies and one for the cheeses. Right, so I'm going to go hit enter over here for right before the first tab item and add the second tab item. All right. Let's add a header, tab item header. And we're going to do similar, something similar to this guy here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this since we have height already set. So I'm just going to copy and paste this and change the image here to this maybe. I think that might be a PNG since we are getting error. Yep. That's good. And let's change the text to veggies. And let's make it singular. Since we did the first one singular, let's keep it the same format. All right. Um, next, I'm going to add a uh, list view as well and um, let's get a name let's call this LVW veggie all right let's take a quick peek at the first one we did so, okay, let me actually copy this from here to here, let's copy and paste this, we'll change a couple of things here and there, so that's going to stay the same here, so we don't need one button, we want this to be a checkbox. Okay, let's try this out. Uh, actually, I remove some of this stuff here. So I don't need this first text box. I mean text block. And the second one is going to be bound to name property. We still don't have anything hooked up yet, uh, but we'll have that shortly. So if I run this now, I probably have, won't have anything yet. All right, so we don't have anything yet in here, so. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Actually, I want to um, change the width also here. And let's add some, just to make it uh, about the same size as the first one. So let's do this 50 by 80. Um, that didn't change much. 100. Try again. Uh, not a huge change. I think that might be because the image is square. Maybe that's why. Um, but all we can do, we can set the width instead of here. So in the image, we can set on our stack panel.
do a little error here. Let's see what this says. Detachable property. Item template was not found in type list view. Now we made a mistake somewhere here. Let's back up a little bit. Okay. Let's run rebuild this. And run this again. Okay. I think that's all text. I set the height I mean width now on the stack panel and try that way. I think I'm doing the wrong spot. It should be in the header section, not here. That's the item actually that's inside the view, which we don't have yet. So it should have been somewhere up here in the header. Alright, right here. So I set the width here. My bad, I was in the wrong spot. Oops, that's a little too much. 60. Hmm. So about 50. Let's try it now. All right. I think that's a good size. All right. I think I like the tomato image better than better than lettuce. It's brighter. Yeah, I'll get a tomato. Alright, so, okay. The header is fine. We have the list view. Now we gotta set the item source. Uh, so let's create another property over here. Prop. This time it's going to be a list of veggies. A veggie list and let's set this to XML data get veggies there you go all right and let's go back to our list view and set the item source to our new property so our list view is right here and let's set the item source to binding um, veggie list. There you go. And that should tie into our data and give us a list of veggies. All right, we got the checkboxes, the name, but we don't have the image. So, <coughs> excuse me, let's find out why. Our item template is here. Mm -mm, let's find out, check out the code behind. Okay, so the image. Let's check out our get. Um, all right, so the path probably we don't have the path. All right, so. Let's Compare this with the veggies. All right. Mm. Okay. 
So I have to copy this and paste over here. All right. And I gotta get this also. I get the directory and the path and the file name. Let's try that now. All right, perfect. So we got uh, images and names and checkboxes. Perfect. That's all good. Let's do one more for our Jesus. And then we'll move on to our list, bo list box on the left. Okay, so let's add, actually let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And then we'll change as needed to paste. All right, so first we're going to change over here. Let's change this to American PNG. And let's change this to cheese. And um, it's going to stay the same. Text should say cheese. And this is not, we don't have the item source yet, so we have to change this once we have that. Image name, that should stay the same, but we have to make a little change in the back. So I think, all right, let's do our changes in the back here. Alright, so first I'm going to add this, where is that uh, directory, copy paste this, and then copy and paste this guy here, okay. And we need a new property for the cheese. So, prop list of cheese. Call this cheese list or cheesy list, just for the heck of it. And, and let's get the let's call the XML data. Get cheese. Get cheeses. All right. Okay, and let's change our binding here. Instead of veggie list, it's going to be cheese list. Perfect. And let's run this one more time. All right, so we have our cheeses, our veggies, and sandwiches all in place. Next, we are going to add a list box to the left column, and actually, in a list box and a text block. Text block will be used as, to display the total. So let's go up here, right before our tab control. Let's add a new grid. This grid will be right in the first column here. And I want to split this grid into two rows. So grid that row definition, row definition one, and row definition two. Now we have two rows in this grid. Uh, next, I want to actually adjust the height of the first row. I want this to be taller, nine times taller than the second row. Since it's going to be a list box here and text block down below here. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead and add a list box. Let's give it a name. Let's call this LBX order. 
and close it up and let's add a text block let's put a name let's call this tbl um total makes sense and let's close this out actually let's set the uh row number create that row because that's going to be the second row so it's going to be actually set to one right here okay perfect so that's in place now let's go ahead and add a click event handler to our button so our button is down below here i believe right here so we're going to um, add a click event handler to this button all right select add new event handler and let's put a definition okay all right so here we are in code behind in the button click event handler so first thing i want to do i want to grab the uh, button let's call this btn equals sender as button okay um, next so we want to add the item to a list box all right so next i want to say um, for item equals btn that data context as sandwich let's cast it to a sandwich and next we want to say list box order that items dot add item okay so if we run this we should be able to add an item to our list box when we click a button a sandwich button so let's go ahead and try it and we're getting the class name that's good that means it's working but we have to fix this so let's go to our list box and let's create an item template so let's expand our list box and then we'll say list box that item template in here we need a data template and let's add actually i want to add a grid as a data template use a grid as a data template because i need two columns so grid And actually, I'm going to copy and paste this from here so we don't have to type it again. We have two columns here. Just need to adjust the width. Okay, so I'm going to remove this size here, the width size. All right, so we have two columns in our grid. And in the first column, well, we will have two text blocks. One is going to be inside the first column and the second one is going to be in the second column. So this one is going to be uh, the text of this text block is going to be bound to the name property of our item, our sandwich. And the second one it's going to be bound to the price so bound to price actually on this one i have to set the grid that column property as well and this is going to be one okay let's try this again let's run it so if i go to in sandwiches tab 
and when I add, it shows up as tuna, two ninety nine. We got this slight problem here. First of all, we don't want this price to be all the way to the right, and we need to increase the font size. So let's set the font size on the list box. I think that should be that should affect all child elements as well. So font size. Let's go with 18. Okay. And um, to make that second text block go all the way to the right, first we need to set uh, horizontal content alignment to stretch. And then on the second text block, I want to set the uh, text alignment to right. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go to our sandwiches tab and try to add it. And perfect. So we got our sandwiches displayed nicely in our list box. Okay. All right. Uh, next, let's go ahead and take care of our text block to display the total. So we have here the text block, okay. And actually, let's go to code behind to our button click event handler. And here we are first going to declare a decimal variable up here called total. Let's set this to zero for now. Since it's a decimal, we need to add that letter M at the end. Um, next, we're going to come down here and um, say uh, label, I mean, text block total equals, um, actually, let's do this way. Let's say total equals plus equals item item that price okay I think that should do it but uh, let's just wrap this with an if statement just to make sure the list box is not empty. Let's go ahead and add an uh, if statement. Let's say if list box order dot items dot count greater than zero, which means if it's not empty, then we want to add that and then we want to set the text block total dot text to total to string okay let's try this out let's go ahead and add a sandwich 299, 399, and 499, total is 1197, which is correct. So let's uh, fix the text block, let's increase the font size and the text alignment. So let's go ahead and change the font size to 24. Let's set the text alignment to write and let's add a format actually as well let's add a currency format to our string and let's try this out one more time all right so 299 399 and 499 totals 1197 
which is all good. Okay, so uh, in the next part, we'll do the payment tab. Okay, so until then, I'll see you.